guys, welcome to our next video. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top 10 items I used and needed throughout the second pregnancy. Baby, we're children of summer. We're meant to be free. Party, we're not like the other. No reason to be. So these items aren't super crazy. They're not like um, the latest pregnancy supportive item out there. Um, but they were little things I used pretty much on a daily basis that really helped make me feel supportive, supported, and just manage my pregnancy because pregnancy is a beautiful, amazing experience, but it can be rough as well. So I'm going to go through those 10 items right now and share them with you. So number one is my Apple Watch. <laughs> so this is not related to like a pregnancy item. Um, I don't feel like you would need to have an Apple Watch, but something like a Fitbit or some sort of like activity tracker. I relied on my Apple Watch a lot just to keep track of um, how active I was being. So there's a bunch of different features on the Apple Watch that I think apply to a bunch of different watch, Fitbit, exercise, step counter, everything out there um, but basically I got to see like how many minutes of exercise I was getting in a day I got to track um, how many calories I was burning a day um, I got to just monitor my heart rate when I was doing exercise um, so it's just really really helpful and I relied on it a lot it helped me stay on track throughout my pregnancy as much as possible so number one is up a watch number two is a massive Hydro flask. This is actually a camelback, but an insulated water bottle. Um, I was pregnant throughout the summer, so I really, really relied on this to keep my water nice and cool so that I could stay cool and I could stay hydrated. Um, I drink, this is 40 ounces, so I drink two, sometimes three of these a day. And just knowing that, okay, if I drink this and then I fill it up and I drink that, I'm good. Um, or more. <laughs> um, it just really helped me stay hydrated and make sure I was getting in all the fluids I needed throughout pregnancy, especially during the summer, um, but even now as it's cooler weather. Next on my list is magnesium spray. So this is the Sun Food Superfoods Pure and, po Pure and Potent Magnesium Oil Spray. Um, I highly, highly recommend this particular brand because I know there are a bunch of brands out there um, and some of them are not as effective as others. This one, I only use two sprays and each spray has 125 milligrams per spray. So I only use two, sometimes three. And this magnesium spray helps in so many different ways. So I haven't really dealt with sleeplessness because I've been using the spray. It helps me sleep. It really, it just like puts me out and I sleep so well. Also, I can spray it like if I have like aches in my back or on my hips, I can still get the benefits of having a good night's sleep, um, but I can spray directly on to those areas um, and it helps with those aches and pains. So particularly now in the third trimester, I'm 36, almost I'll be 30, close to 37 weeks when you're watching this. Um, Particularly now, my hips ache so much, so I spray directly onto one spray on each hip, and it really it helps a lot to relieve that tension and that achiness. So, highly, highly recommend magnesium spray. This might be honestly my number one. Wait, the next one might be my number one. <laughs> I highly, highly recommend this one. Um, next item on my list is Tums, just typical Tums. I cannot not have these. I have such bad heartburn every night. It doesn't matter what I eat. It doesn't matter when I eat. It does not make any difference. If I don't have Tums, uh, it actually happened a few weeks ago. I ran out and I was like, okay, I can go one night. It's going to be fine. Um, but it was not fine. I literally woke up and thought felt like I was going to throw up um, that I like couldn't sleep there was just like so much like 
I don't, it, I think it's bile. Ew, it sounds so gross. But it's just like burning and just felt, oh, so I had to wake up and like search for an alternative I could use. I ended up doing like a little bit of baking soda and water, which worked. But it was not, not fun. So I rely on Thames because the heartburn, the acid reflux is really, really bad. <laughs> um, but that could mean that Tabor has a lot of hair. I know that's like a old wives tale, but I had really bad heartburn with my first pregnancy with Juniper and she came out with a full head of black hair. So we will see with baby Tabor. Next item on my list, what is this? Five, I think. Next item on my list is just good old herbal tea, like a chamomile tea. Um, I know there's certain teas out there that you shouldn't be drinking when you're pregnant. So if this is of interest to you, definitely check with your healthcare provider before you drink anything. But I really relied on like chamomile tea. Right now I also have like a really yummy harvest tea that I'm drinking that's like really cinnamon and really yummy. Um, but basically for me to have like an herbal tea, it kind of replaced, it just felt like something special that I could have that I could like relax and it could be something like um, usually when I'm not pregnant I would like to have like an occasional glass of wine um, so I can kind of feel like this is my treat and I'm relaxing after June's gone to bed and it just felt like a drink that could make me feel I don't know it was more of instead of just relaxing it made it kind of like a moment so herbal tea actually worked and it kind of made me feel like that um, I could have like my tea and I felt all cozy and it's like okay this is like a special moment I can relax and drink my tea and really like settle in and be present um, and I don't know it worked for me also during the summer so I did still drink chamomile tea or other herbal teas but I also used just straight up seltzer water. Sometimes I did seltzer water with a little bit of uh, cucumber water and I would mix that and make like a refreshing drink when it was really hot in the summer. So I felt like I had a special drink. It was not a cocktail, but it felt like a drink that I could enjoy and it felt like, I don't know how else to explain it. It was just like an alternative for me that made me feel like I wasn't missing out <laughs> when everyone else is out having their like fancy summer cocktails or their glass of wine I felt like I have my drink and this is nice and I still like it so it worked it worked for me I really liked it uh, next item on my list is a journal this is my journal I did not use this every single day but it was something that was really important for me to have. Um, for me, pregnancy can be, I think for every woman out there, I think it's different, but for me it can be kind of like an emotional, mental, just like trying to adjust and like figure out, like reflect on like where I'm going in life and how my life is going to change and like um, dealing with all of the different emotions of no longer feeling in control of your body, um, it can be, it can cause some emotional turmoil, definitely. And of course you have all the hormones thrown into the mix, which don't help. So for me, having my journal, like if there was times where I was feeling really overwhelmed or maybe even sort of low and not as happy, I could like write in my journal and write those thoughts out. Um, and it just helped. It helped to put it down on paper. And also in times when I was really excited and I wanted to like document those moments as well. It just helped to put it on paper. Um, just take a moment to really reflect on those feelings and um, it was just very therapeutic to have. So I used it a few times throughout this pregnancy and each time I actually took the time to write in my journal all my thoughts and feelings that I was going through at the time. It was really... Um, really really helpful next on the list is pillows for this pregnancy I did not get a pregnancy pillow I kept thinking oh I'll get one eventually but I never ended up getting one and I was still sleeping pretty well throughout the night with my magnesium spray so what I relied on was just normal pillows this one is actually a couch pillow but 
I probably used it at one point. I usually how I slept is with two large pillows and then a small pillow. Um, and that felt really, really comfortable. I felt supportive. I didn't feel like I needed a huge pregnancy pillow like I thought I was going to get. Um, I just slept really well that way. So just normal pillows work, you guys. You can, of course, of course, of course, if you want, go out and buy a pregnancy pillow. But I'm telling you, you might not have to. Just try normal pillows first before you spend like, I think $50 on a pregnancy pillow. Um, but yeah, so I slept with a lot of pillows and I slept with them every night. And also I slept with them for every nap. So that's not really an item, but definitely a pregnancy must have was an almost daily, if not, okay, definitely, almost every single day I took a nap throughout this pregnancy which is crazy to me because I am not really a nap person um, but I don't think I would have survived <laughs> I don't think I would have survived without my daily nap and usually I take my nap while Juniper is napping so I'll put her down for her nap I'll get some work done really fast and then I'll sleep depending on where I was throughout my pregnancy like in the beginning I was sleeping a lot more sometimes like an hour um, sometimes an hour and a half depending on how exhausted I was um, right now where I'm at I sleep probably 30 minutes each day for a nap and it is amazing I don't know how I would make it through the rest of my day without my daily pregnancy nap as I call it <laughs> My next item that I relied on every day, I checked literally every day, is my pregnancy app. So I have been using the Bump pregnancy app. It's the same one I used when I was pregnant with Juniper. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch out there, but I just, that's the one I used before, and I was like, okay, let's just use that one again. Um, and I really, really like it because every single day it gives you like one little fact. Let me read this one. Let's see what it is today. So today it says baby's thumb is the size of a headphone earbud. <laughs> so it's just like little things like that. And it's just, I like to read that stuff every single day and just get a little, a little reminder about the amazing little baby boy who is just growing bigger and bigger every single day. Um, I also like that it has uh, like a to-do list for each week which I sometimes look at, I sometimes don't look at. Um, I like that it has a 3D part to the app so you can see um, like the baby and what's like changing with the baby that week and it also shows um, you, well not you, but a woman with the baby in her tummy and growing and those changes as well. So I would actually sit down with Juniper and we would say, okay, let's look at the baby. So each week when it was changed to the next fruit <laughs> and the next update, I would sit down with her and I would show her baby Tabor and how he's growing and she would like to look and kind of like move it around and see, wow, look, he's getting bigger. And then she could see like the baby in mama's tummy on the app and it was really, really exciting for her. And I feel like that really helped her also understand more of what was going on. Like she could see the picture of, look, there's the baby in this lady's tummy. And it's like, oh, look, there's baby Tabor in mama's tummy. Um, and it was really helpful. So I definitely checked that app every day and also each week it was really fun to get those weekly updates and then finally <laughs> my last item is not really an item but I highly recommend as well is a really good pregnancy or mother or both related Netflix or Amazon show basically a show so throughout my pregnancy I always have a show that I kind of watch sometimes with Corbin sometimes by myself that's related to either pregnancy or motherhood that is usually lighthearted. like right now I'm actually watching Call the Midwife I watched it when I was pregnant with Juniper and it's just really nice to have shows that you can really really relate to and you can kind of see other women's experience even if it is just a TV show it's nice to feel like to see your story or to see similar stories and relate to those as you're like relaxing 
and enjoying your evening. So Call the Midwife is a great one. I highly recommend it's on Netflix. Um, I also watch Working Moms, which is more of a funny one with some elements that are a bit more serious as well. Um, I think there is another one that I can't think of yet. But anyways, there's a bunch out there and I highly recommend watching something that's relatable to the experience you're going through. So those are my 10 items slash things slash whatever I needed to help make this pregnancy manageable. And I highly recommend them all to you. If you have tips and suggestions for things that helped you throughout your pregnancy or that you're using right now, uh, leave me a comment on my Instagram. So go ahead and click that link down in the description. That'll take you to my Instagram and leave those comments down below since comments are still off on YouTube. It's so frustrating. Don't know what to do about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Be where your feet are. Bye.